Alright guys, they're playing Nafiri top lane today. We're playing Nafiri versus Mundo. And for the runes, we have First Strike, Magical Biscuits, Cosmic, Metaflow, and then we're also running Transcendence. Now this game we're going to be 1v9ing with an Assassin top lane. Nafiri top lane is actually like, since the day that he got released, he's been so much fun to play top lane. Weirdly enough, you know, obviously I'm a top main, but I do feel like I, I prefer Nafiri top than... Honestly, anywhere else. Especially if you play first strike, you get to proc this so easily on your opponent, man. We'll see what I mean. We're gonna go for the Eclipse build. Maybe going Profane Hydro too. The items we have in Season 14 from Nefiri is really nice. Like, the, the win ratio from Nefiri is higher than it's ever been. Currently seeing on, like, more than a 52% win rate, which is actually one of the highest in the game at the moment. I'll pick up my E right here, because maybe if we're very lucky, I might get in range. Funny enough, like, Mundo cannot hit Qs on me. Not that easily, anyway. Um, because that my little pack uh, is actually blocking off the Qs all the time. Nice. We could probably hit another Q. They got a Graves jungle, by the way. Missing both. It's fine. The Q is... What? Seems like he's already up here. Okay. Unbelievable. The guy's ganking my lane at like 3 minutes. Nearly got me too. <laughs> and we killed the Mundo still? Unbelievable. Okay. Ah, uh, not killing the graves, unfortunately. That would have been so funny if we could also kill the graves. <laughs> no way. One versus two and we're still getting something out of this. Imagine if we also kill the graves. So we still need to shuffle in the lane in some kind of way. I feel like it's going to be a game where we're definitely going to get, like, permacammed. It's going to be a big challenge. Oh, he doesn't seem to be walking up here. He might be scared. Which is a good sign for me. Nice. You know, that honestly makes me more than happy. I certainly cannot complain, because as long as I get to reset the wave, then, you know, it won't matter uh, how Mundo is going to approach me. I just need to get my items. And we got our backport. Okay. Let's go into Eclipse. All right, so let me get back. So... What I'm thinking about, it shows the Profane Hydra within the recommendation, and it's certainly a really good item. We're definitely going to be building it in this game. But I do think that going Eclipse, at least in the early game, having the damage ability haste as well as the effect, I think it really makes a difference in the game. And then going like Profane Hydra as a secondary item will give me even more damage and even more ability haste for spamming my abilities. Place that ward down. Let's see if I can proc the first strike. <laughs> I love how my pack baits are just blocking him from getting the wave, so Mundo can't farm this game. It's really difficult for him. Nice. I think that might not be enough now. It's definitely not. Hmm. Guess we can just let the wave like push into me so that he's gonna lose a lot of farm. We can play it out like this, like he needs to reset and buy items. So we pretty much get to freeze the lane. Make it deny a bunch of farm. Oh, since he's already back, he teleported. Okay. Sure. We have Vi up here too. 
I actually used the biscuits and didn't use it that early. Ah, okay. Should have used my Q and delayed my E. It would have been a better trait. The best part is that we still, we still have our ultimate. Very nice. And he is level five. Hmm. Probably not gonna reach him. Oh, okay. Not bad. I thought I wasn't going to be able to reach him. Well, I thought I did reach him, but I thought it was going to be like more or less like under tower. That's what I was expecting, but I actually reached him before the tower. Nice. That's amazing. Okay, let's go for like one plate. And we're gonna walk off. Yeah. We can already buy my item. We need like 1.5k. We already have the 1.5k. That's the best part. <clears throat> Good. Seven minutes. Uh, 70 minutes. Or I mean, seven minutes 50. And we already have Eclipse. That's like one of the best things you can get. As you can see, Eclipse D Blade versus D Shield with two Ruby Crystals and an armor. I have like way too much of a lead. Way too much. Oh, he's not. Okay. He might still be up here. I'm going to start maxing my E now. We could also be maxing my W, but I prefer the E max. They're both like good choices. W Max is certainly a good choice as well. Nice. And now we just simply hold. We hold it for as long as we can. Pretty sure like he's he's getting the reset to buy items, so he'll probably come back with a bit with uh the Batman. No? Chains vest. Interesting. Oh, he's hitting my he's hitting my uh, my pack, so he doesn't actually hit me. Another Q hit. I love how the item uh, basically also procs, <laughs> so you gain the shield even though you don't really use it. That's what I love so much about Eclipse when you when you play in the Fury, like this thing will proc. Hmm. No problem. My Q is like four seconds. I had two of them. And two of them again. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, nearly have to, nearly have to play. Oh, I hit him again. Okay, we're hitting several like double cues at the same time. Well, it did land, of course, but you know, that's really it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. This champion is like, there's a reason why the win rate for Nefiri is so high right now. Like, it pretty much explains itself. If you, uh, if you're looking at this, you know what I mean? All right, let's go back here. So now it's time to go for the Brotherlizer. And then we sell that one. I don't need that stuff anymore. Okay, let's run back. 
they only have Balin winning at the moment. Their mid lane is losing, their jungle is losing. Well, I just made them lose, sort of. Uh, top lane is losing. This game is looking scary because we're basically full AD, uh, aside from Twitch going AP. But since I'm like so fed anyway, I don't think it's gonna matter if we're full AD. Mundo should be up here somewhere. Probably under tower, I guess. Nice. I'll take the plate. Got it. Let's see if we can kill the graves. We can run up to him. Probably some other guy nearby. He needs to run off. He wants to live. Yeah, he will press R, of course. I, uh, I'm i actually kind of glad that I didn't press my own ultimate. But I haven't done that. Oh, it seems like Mundo is like up there. Yeah, that, that's definitely the mid laner too. Like, I saw him moving. Let's press my E to get them back. Towards me. Say goodbye, friend. <laughs> I got you. Triple. Let's go. Pretty much every single kill is going to my direction. That's nice. That Fury top lane is too nice. Don't know what to tell you. We already have all of the gold that we're looking for. We can already buy Profit Hydra. We're 13 minutes in the game. And we already have two items right now. Let's go. Let's run back. It's got sound fire, but I don't think that the sound fire will really make any difference, especially now because I'm like two items and he's like only one item. Straight up like one item advantage. Yep, we got him. Pretty good. We're going to be forcing tower right now. Oh, I, I love the fact that we have like so much wave clear too, like that is always appreciated on any champion I play. The more wave clear you have, the better it is. Next one. We'll take the wave, then we go for jungle camps. No jungle camp there, but that's fine. No one here. Also, that one's been uh, been taken. I don't think he'll overextend very much because Twitch is also up here. He probably has vision. Hmm. You know, there's a good possibility we can rotate Balan and just kill everyone that we can find. See how far they will overextend for. Yep, that's one. Oh, this guy's about to die. Or not. What? I am greatly impressed. Okay, can I can I admit that here? Yeah, I'm like I'm like seven and zero, and they they just killed me. My bad though. They just charged a full combo instant. But not bad, bro. Not bad. So one thing we we can do is 
we can go into lucidity and then we can build into edge of the night which will grant us the hp and the shield this way we can like avoid the next time this might happen might occur they can't burst me again if i have a shield I'll be running towards mid. And we'll grab the next wave, then we rotate. Nice. Oh, someone's about to have trouble. Gotcha. It's certainly not easy to see the difference between a Pantheon ultimate as well as a Smolder ultimate. Oh, we got that tower now. Well, maybe we can also include some jungle camps. Nice. Yeah, we're not that far off from the edge of the night. We just need to get like top lane wave and that's it. Yeah, and then maybe we also include the other jungle camp, maybe. They're probably moving top. One guy is bot lane. Tally is the most fat and this guy is showing. So I probably don't have to worry about anyone else. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Yeah, they want me pretty bad. I'm not gonna give them the chance. <laughs> I'm way too fed. Can't allow it to die again. This time I got my shield, so that's good. That's definitely gonna make things easier for me. The only thing that this item does not have, which is, or, which could be a reason for me not buying it, is the fact that it doesn't provide any ability haste. So if you're buying it like a third item. You're not going to be able to use your abilities more. Most of the lethality items you buy already has ability haze. So it's a, it's a, a little disappointing to buy Edge of Night sometimes. Depends on the champion you play. The Fury doesn't really need a lot of ability haze to perform, fortunately. Uh, it's probably looking to stop me. Oh, you can get my packs. You know, you can get my pack if you want to. Sure. Go ahead. I love how Grace is like randomly jumping into me, so... <laughs> okay. Whatever, man. <laughs> Got it. Thanks to the pack mates. Thank you very much. And yeah, we just keep doing our little thing. Just keep rotating. Oh, I didn't have the ability to kill him. But he flashed away from me. Oh, it got cancelled. Oh, I couldn't hit my second Q. 
Oh man, I was completely wrecked. What actually canceled my uh, my W though? What exactly was it? Was he actually blocking it? Huh. I think Mundo blocked it with the champ entirely. <laughs> Too bad then. Okay. Uh, my next item right now, we could actually be going for Grouch as the next item because it provides exactly what I need. Yeah, I'm likely to build it. Take it. Uh, quick question. Is Nafiri good against a bunch of top laners? Yes. You got to be careful into specific champions. But like the majority of, of all top laners, you actually get to like poke them, poke them down and destroy them. Yes. Like Nafiri is actually one of the better assassins if you compare them to other ones. Because you have the ability to like infinitely poke your opponent in a good way. Good all in, you got everything you need. Nice. And even if you play against a Mundo, like your pack mates basically block. Pen uh, not Pantheon, uh, block like Mundo Qs. Which is impressive. Let's go for the wave. Only two of them are alive. Nice. Yeah, tower goes pretty quick at this point. We have a lot of damage. Not interested. I know how much damage Talia has. I'm not going to underestimate the damage. I know exactly uh, how high the damage is. Um, we need to get like one more item. I think it's going to be towards the direction of going Guardian's Angel. So I have some protection if, if we go for a team fight. I love how my E is like no mana at this point. I can't use my E so much. I just don't run out of mana. Bottom. Goodbye, bro. Yeah, that, that mid lane is secure, bro. Good. Yeah, we can go Baron right now as long as we all move at the same time. Sure. I think they might be aware of the situation, but I think we might still be able to do it. Yeah. You have a lot of damage. Makes it really easy to do. Perhaps, maybe, we can still get like one more guy. I don't know if someone's gonna try and go through to place a ward down. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, let's put them to the test. You never know. Yeah, I definitely wasted my ultimate. Whatever, man. It's no cooldown. It's okay. I can miss it.
Wait, I think I'm gonna run mid lane. Uh, the inhib is already down, so we should actually be top lane or bot lane. You know, that would be the best, of course. But I'm gonna run mid lane, see where they go, and then I go wherever they go. Oh, someone's about to die. Nice. Twitch is support, and even he can 1v1 a jungler, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh man I would like to all in the Talia but she has abilities that can stop me jump. Wow, I got CC'd for too long. Feels bad, man. I was gonna kill all of them. I guess my teammates. I don't know if they can finish, but... One of their most important people are, are caught down, and he's dead at the moment, so I think they might still be able to finish. Or not. They're too low. <laughs> okay, no problem. We have, a, we have a third dragon in the pocket here. I think I'll just buy another red potion. Or I just... No, I don't think I will buy it, just in case. I want to get my Guardian's Angel faster. Okay, my teammates got this one. Let's go. I feel like one thing to run top lane, but I think I'm just going to catch them wherever they go. Just like before. But this time I'm not going to jump in one versus four. <laughs> we'll do it a bit different this time. Uh, my teammates will go up here. They didn't know I was behind the wall. Love how that's chasing me down the entire way. I'm on my way. Never mind. My ultimate is a little bit useless. Yeah, half my teammates died. Well, half actually just Pantheon. If I can only like two Qs of these, oh, I keep dying by Talia. Talia is the only reason with Zyre together that makes me die all the time. I have no issue against anyone else. Just one E is enough, man. If that hits, I'm dead. I have like 3k HP, by the way. 3k. Still not enough. It's like a two level diff. Yeah, Twitch got one. Okay, we need to be grouping for real. Like, this is not really working. The way how it's being played, that doesn't work. We need people actively grouping to win this.
but they go revive. We can use her like a bait, sort of. They don't really, you know, crawl out of their base anymore. Nice. Pretty much Baron buff it is. If we can get that one, that's all we need. I always say the same thing, man. Like I, I see, you know, I know that people are all playing AP Twitch. I do. I still feel like AD Twitch is the better version ever. If you ask me. Just Talia. Talia still remains to be a big problem to me. GG, I guess. Yep. Good. All right, man. This is Nafiri top lane, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.